Well, at that time, um, it was a time. I started composing it when I was trying to think of composing music for a projected third incarnation of Matching Mole, um, which would possibly have included uh, Francis Monkman on keyboards, Bill on bass. By that time, I'd been with Alfie a year or two, and uh, not married yet, but um, Alfie was a worked in films as a a, a qualification is as, is as an editor, film editor, uh, craft. Uh, um, but uh, she was working in a kind of in another capacity on a film, which was being filmed in Venice in winter, and I went with her for that. And to keep me occupied during the daytime, uh, she she bought me the keyboard I use on Rock Bottom. And the great thing about it was a very simple technical thing. And things are from very simple. One little technical device can trigger off a whole thing. With the, you can control the speed of the vibrato. And generally speaking, where you have a fixed vibrato on, for example, the Hammond organ, you've got you go yeah 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 yeah, and you screw the thing oh yo yo whoa. Whereas on this little keyboard she had, it was a cheap one, it was just like a toy almost, but about three octaves, not much more. But you, you could get, I could find a vibrato on it which matched the kind of natural vibrato I use when I'm singing, so that I could really write notes and immediately imagine them sung, any part of the chord, and place my voice in it. And this is a real breakthrough. And I think that the words that came during that time, and then when I, I subsequently broke my back and during the a lot came from being surrounded by waters in the lagoon of Venice, yes. Yeah. And Alfie has a love of the sea and a desire for ozone and get by the sea. That's why Don Destin is, is, is a bit going back to that. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, whenever I think I'm speaking, I don't, as far as I understand it, you know, she feels some um, at the most free and just physically happiest by the sea. And um, I stick with Alfie, so. I go too, mm -hmm. and, I, and then um, then I see what she means. So it comes into it, yeah. But I mean, um, yeah, the words on that. I think I got the courage from the madness of children's rhymes, you know, which um, might have some basis in early meaning in some folk song or something. But you know, ring a ring a rose, his pocket full of I don't know what stuff. Uh, well, I think every language has them. Uh, there was, a, for example, there's. Just the words in children's books, like, I remember when I was little, there were some French things for children about three characters called Pique, Pique, Conigram. And, uh, well, no grown-ups are allowed to call their books things like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's not what you do. But children are allowed to have names like Pique, Pique, Conigram. And uh, it, from that, I sort of got the... There's quite a sort of tradition of that in like, Victorian England, whimsy and so on. And the fact that for nearly all... To the extent that it was written, I'm trying to remember, during, um, during and after the time I had my accident, I, was, I went into my accident very, very drunk. I mean, unbelievably drunk. And sort of stayed in that kind of region for months, really, need, because uh, when, you're, when you have an accident like that, they just pump you with painkillers for about six weeks. Just you're in, so, you're in, so you're in a six-week, almost, almost a coma, really and then lots of drugs and stuff like that. And in that state, and then even when you wake up, you're in hospital and you're not even allowed to move your neck. So you get to know the person in the next bed, but you can't see their faces because you can't turn your neck because mm -hmm. you're sort of fixed. And uh, in that state, you sort of daydream even when you're not sleeping. And as you may have noticed, there's a period between waking and sleeping, both ways, waking up before you're awake, going to sleep before you sleep. When you're still thinking in kind of narrative sentences, but they begin to unravel and ghosts come in. And it's from that landscape as well that the lyrics and the feeling, I think, of rock bottom come.